Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. And I have two great guests for you, Dr. Ozzy. She's the Vice President of Clinical Development at Cinex and one of my favorite people personally, Nurse Barbara Jen. Ladies, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Oh, Valder, it is such a pleasure to be here with my friend, Dr. Nkechi Azie, on behalf of Synexus. And you know I'm one of your biggest fans. In fact, I'm going to sign up to be president of the fan club pretty soon. (laughs) Well, thank you so much. You're going to have to fight the current president for that position, but I'm sure you'll win. (laughs) Ladies, you guys come to talk about things that your body is telling you. And that's, this is so important as I age and my audience age into this group called Baby Boomers. I'm going to start with you, Nurse Barb. How big of an issue is it uh, when women are, are skipping on preventative health services during this pandemic that happened? Well, during the pandemic, it's completely understandable that women would hesitate to go in to see a provider for anything, whether it was their pap smear, their mammogram, or their annual checkup. But they were also hesitant to go in for those recurrent uh, yeast infections that never seem to go away. But Valder, I'm so glad we're talking about this because let's change that. Let's turn this around because May is Women's Health Awareness Month. So now is the time for us to focus on our own health care. What are some of the health, I don't think you should ignore any of it, but what are some of the health conditions women might want to ignore? Well, you know, you and I have been talking about this for years, right? There's so many things that we ignore because they're personal, they're private, they're things we don't want to talk about. And when it comes to vaginal yeast infections, you're not alone if you're suffering because seven out of 10 women will have a yeast infection sometime during their life. But half of us will have multiple episodes. But please don't let fear or embarrassment prevent you from seeking the care that you need um, because you're not alone. But there are new medications, new treatments that have been developed over the past few years during the pandemic. I'm going to switch to the doctor. Thank you so much for the information, Barb. But uh, doctor, I want to know why is it important to see a doctor about infectious or other health concerns instead of you know, a lot of women have the, the uh, grit to suffer in silence. Exactly. And, you know, on a normal basis, women are spread very thin and juggle a lot of things. And particularly during the pandemic, they have expanded responsibilities. And so something like the yeast infection gets ignored. And it is important, aside from the yeast infection, that your general health, you pay attention because these conditions just get worse if you don't take care of them. And when I talk about the yeast infections, I sympathize with the women because in the last 20 years, there has not been anything new. And it's the same type of medicine that has been available to treat yeast infection whether you're getting over-the-counter medications or you're getting a prescription from your doctor, it tends to be the same type of medicine. And so when these things don't work for your yeast infection and then you have extra responsibilities during the pandemic, you tend to ignore it, but you know it gets worse. So we are employing women to actually talk to their healthcare providers because now there is an alternative. There's hope on the horizon. Well, give us a little bit of information about these latest advancements in treatments, then, if there is hope on the horizon. Yes, there is. The FDA approved a new class, first-in-class antifungal. That's a medicine to treat yeast last year for vaginal yeast treatment. And the name of the medicine is Brexafem. Brexafem is a one-day treatment. You take two pills in the morning, two in the evening, and you're done. 
but it is not for everybody, I must say. So particularly women who are pregnant, please talk to your healthcare provider and ask them if this is appropriate for you. That's great to know. So as, you're, as I always tell my audience, my healthcare provider is my, my point, my center where I start to get any kind of treatment or advice rather than trying to look on the internet. You know, that has its place, but mostly go to your primary health care provider and get a recommendation. Doctor, thank you so much. I'm going to wrap up with Nurse Barb because she's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with time, I'll become your favorite. <laughs> you, you become our favorite. you got to come back. Nurse Barb has that spot in my life. Nurse I don't Barb, know. I want to... Yeah, Dr. Azier is going to become your favorite pretty soon, Valder, and it's okay. I'll, I'll step aside. <laughs> And Thank you uh, so much, ladies. please, ladies, go to www.yourvhealth.com for more information. And V, Valder does mm-hmm. not stand, the yourvhealth.com, the V does not stand for Valder. It stands for <laughs> vagina. So w- I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> your, uh, so www.yourvhealth.com. Nurse Barb, I look forward to you and your next informational. What are you up to? Do you have a book, a program? What do you got going? So I've been working with Dr. Azier informing women during Women's Health Awareness Month because, you know, like it's Mother's Day and it's time for us to focus on our health care. Um, and it's just been such a pleasure to work with her because she devoted her life to treating infectious diseases. And it's, it's such an honor to be with someone who has worked so hard in this field. Well, thank with you, you by her side, I know she can't fail. Dr. Azie, Nurse Barbara Dan, thank you so much for being my guest. You have both made my day on the Valder BB Chef. <laughs> I hope my audience feels the same way. Thank you, Valder. Thanks, Valder. Thank Take you, care. Ladies. Be uh-huh. well. Bye-bye. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.